turn these ashes into pigment and paint to use in your paintings? It's incredibly easy and magical. The basic process is rather simple. You get the ashes into a mortar, finely greened, add some water, whisk, add an acrylic binder, give it a good whisk again, et voila, ready to use. I've been using ashes for some years now in my paintings. The basic process is extremely simple, but the practice and the experiment is what will make it into a personal process, something truly unique, basically like any medium you choose to add to your painting. Which ashes do you use? Stove, fire, bonfire, they don't all have the same color, you'll notice. Some are more white than gray, some are darker, some also are shinier. And it's what I love and look for. How to green the ashes? I use a stone mortar that was initially in my kitchen. The process and the sound is actually very soothing and relaxing, I find. Then I use a tea strainer to sift it. It's again one from the kitchen that is now dedicated for that purpose only. When you add the water, be careful not to add too much at a time. You want to have a sort of like thick paste consistency before you start adding more. I also like to add a drop of rose water for an extra hint of magic. If you add more water, it's gonna be thinner and you can maybe use it with a brush. If it's thicker, then you can use it with a palette knife and it will give more texture. Acrylic binder. I've done some research, there are plenty of options. I decided to go the easy way and use the gel mediums I already use in my regular mixed media. I would still recommend to use a good brand one. Liquitex is one I really like to use. I link it in the description. But again, experiment. What are the proportions? Uh, don't think there is any clear answer to that because it depends on the consistency of the ashes themselves. I think I tend to use at least one fourth to one third of binder. And so far I have paintings that have been around for some years now. They didn't deteriorate, the texture is still there. Like it sticks properly to, to the canvas or paper I've been using. What you need to understand is that a binder can be diluted in water only to a certain extent, otherwise it will lose its binding, its binding properties. But again, you need to experiment because some of the pigments you may use from ashes or from earth, they themselves have some binding properties so that you don't need to use as much binder. My guess is that you also need to use more binder if you are intending to apply it on paper than you would on a canvas that is a rigid and that will be in a way more stable. The process is very similar with coal or mud or earth. Depending on the ashes you choose, you can make your own painting truly meaningful and magical by using ashes from your stove or from a fire, from a solstice bonfire, from uh, wishes you write down on a piece of paper before burning them. I've used ashes from paintings I burned. I'm currently using a lot of coal and ashes from a place I love and that partially burned last summer. Um, well, it's regrowing now. You can see me collecting those ashes in this video. Thanks for watching. Please share your experiments with me in the comments if you found this video helpful. And next time I might also share with you some of my experiments with drawing with actual real coal.